In this video, I will show you what happened when I faced the penguin. Ooh, Grandmaster Andrew Tang! Hello everyone and welcome back! So, two days ago I played the Title Tuesday tournament and it was one of my best tournament and achievement until now in my career in Title Tuesday. So I finished with 9 out of 11. So I really recommend you to watch and learn in this video. It's, it was really incredible. I played against the best Grandmaster in the world. I played against Matthew Bluebaum the last video. I played against Eric Hansen and also in this video we will see my game against Andrew Tang. You know, also one of the best Blitz and Bullets players in Chesscom. I think I, he has like more than 3200 in Bullet. So yeah, it was very tough game for me. I was with white pieces and let's see what happened. So I played a move e4, e5, knight e3, knight c6, bishop to b5 and now he played the move g6 of course this opening uh, called of course the spanish the rui lopez and g6 is one of uh, the fianchetto defense here uh, line so i played the move c3 bishop uh, g7 is one of the options of course after playing d4 e takes d4 uh, c takes d4 a6 and if i'm taking the knight on c6 is just uh, coming uh, to the same position as was in the game so we play the move a6 and here i can play the move bishop a4 that will uh, bring us this variation bishop g7 for example i don't know castle knight g e7 d4 takes takes and now b5 and white has two options or to go to c2 or b3 there is much theory here i must admit but it's overall it's fine uh, for both sides for example bishop b3 there is d6 move i play the move a3 and um, i think castle if i'm not mistaken here knight c3 knight a5 bishop c2 with c5 if i'm uh, you know uh, remember it correct so interesting lines here and uh, i really recommend you maybe to to watch it but after c3 a6 there is one more move that i played in this game i just took the knight on c6 and you know, in Spanish, we really like this bishop uh, and we don't, uh, you know, love just to bring it and to exchange it very, very, um, you know, in the beginning of the opening. But the point it is that after d takes e6, we are playing the move d4 now. Of course, knight takes e5 is not a, a great move because queen g5 and double threat here. So d4 and the point is that we are exchanging the bishop for the knight on c6 but we are controlling very good the center with these three pawns and uh, we are getting some you know a uh, space advantage in the center so we played e takes d4 of course c takes d4 bishop g7 i played the move a3 i remember that also one option is to play knight c3 and after bishop g4 i must play the move bishop e3 and if he's taking the knight queen takes with bishop takes d4 we are not afraid because we have a long castle after bishop takes e3 queen takes and as you can see the the black pieces are not developed at all and we are sacrificed one pawn but we will have some very good initiative after e5 rook hg1 knight e4 and the king is very bad in the center of the board so i play the move h3 another option of course knight e7 castle castle and knight c3 until now uh, seems very logical and now we play the move h6 and I played the move rook e1. I, I remembered that in this uh, particular position during the game that after bishop f4, the point is uh, he's playing the move g5. And after bishop e5, he, he can play the move knight g6. And also he can play move uh, g4 with h takes g4, bishop takes g4. And yeah, it seems like maybe the king a little bit, uh, you know, weak. But also my king is not so safe because knight g6 the next move knight h4 this pin is not so simple for me uh, to handle with and also the pawn on d4 uh, is a weak pawn so i'm not sure about this position also after bishop e5 i think f6 should be interesting move and after bishop g3 for example f5 maybe and um, so yeah it's not so easy because don't forget these two bishops right uh, black has two bishops and if you manage um, to open the position 
it will be great for him uh, but i played the move rook e1 also just developing a rook as we uh, you know learned in the in the last video that we must think about our pieces in the opening right we just want to develop them to improve their position and to give each one of them the best work to do so we played the move king h7 and i must admit i was really shocked about this move g5 was much much clever i think uh, the point is that black wants to play knight g6 to bring the knight to a better square uh, with g4 maybe and after it knight h4 and f5 maybe and just you know uh, he must think about this bishop right so after g5 he's controlling also the g6 square for the knight and also um you know um just wants to play the move g4 uh, and bring the bishop from c8 good work so king h7 was a little bit strange i played the move bishop f4 he played bishop e6 also here i thought the g5 maybe should in, should be interesting i thought for one second maybe to take it because h takes g5 knight takes g5 and he must go to g6 as king g8 must be very very bad for him right rook e8 queen f7 king h8 just coming back and rook e3 yeah it's probably checkmate very soon white should win here so yeah so after uh, knight takes g5 king g6 he must play and now knight f3 and probably the king on g6 feels feels fine after i don't know bishop h6 king g7 knight g6 and yeah the king will be covered uh, absolutely fine so he played the move bishop to e6 yeah g5 maybe was a, a better option i played the move queen d2 and i remember that uh, during the game i thought maybe to play queen e2 or maybe queen c2 and uh, but yeah queen d2 overall seems okay g5 was played bishop e5 f6 and coming back to g3 my point that uh, after f5 i thought to play bishop e5 this was my uh, first intuition because i really don't like to bring him uh, these two bishops right i want to exchange one bishop uh, and to play against this king this uh, a little bit weak king here and if he's playing g5 f5 the king will be weak uh, in the next future so he played the move rook f7 also another uh, not a good move i think i'm not sure why he played the move, this move but i just bring the the, the next rook to the game rook ad1 the last rook into the game uh, the last piece that must find work so he played the move knight g6 and now just d5 i think a very strong move uh, just you know attack in the in the in the center with knight d4 all my pieces are doing just a, a fantastic job so rook d7 was played for example c takes d5 just e takes d5 uh, bishop c8 i don't know knight d4 for example uh, knight e6 knight e4 knight c5 a lot of uh, interesting um, ideas here for white he played the move rook d7 and now i thought my first intuition was just to play queen c2 that really feels better right after c takes d5 just e takes d5 and after bishop takes uh, i just can take it everything right take 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 and maybe h4 and uh, you know this diagonal not so easy to handle uh, for for white uh, for black of course and also the pawn on c7 don't forget it i can take it i can play rook d1 so in interesting position indeed um so after knight d4 i played the move knight d4 instead of queen c2 but also makes a lot of sense i'm improving another piece i'm attacking this bishop i'm attacking this pawn on c6 and after bishop f7 uh, i just played the move d takes c6 because i really wanted you know like um to weakness these three pawns right so now they are not connecting and maybe in the future i can take it so i just played the move queen e3 now and attacking the c6 pawn he played queen e8 because uh, his idea was after knight c6 just rook takes d1 rook takes and queen takes c6 and i'm down a piece but of course i didn't fell for it i played the move knight to f5 uh, bringing another knight into the game of course developing him improving his position i know i'm i'm you know like um it's over and over again but it's very important for you to understand we must play with all our pieces this is chess right this is a war and we must bring an every piece into his best uh, position so knight f5 this knight is really great here i played now h4 you know it was like one minute for me one minute and uh, 15 seconds on the clock and for my opponent the penguin guy 
only half a minute so i played the move h4 because i really wanted uh, to give him the, the the feeling that i'm attacking him right maybe h takes g5 with queen f3 queen h5 something around this and i just wanted to play very fast and not coming to a time trouble so bishop e6 was played rook takes d7 queen takes rook d1 and now i played the move h takes g5 of course an accuracy a little bit uh, but it's not so important because i really want to play fast as uh, it's uh, very close to a blitz uh, bullet right and uh, down from a minute so f takes g5 queen f3 uh, knight d7 and now knight d4 just exchange the queens and now we have here double attack and the bishop and the pawn on c7 so one of them will fall i took it uh, c5 knight b3 uh, rook c8 uh, bishop d6 you know it seems like very very good of course uh, the computer here in chesscom giving me some inaccuracy mistakes but of course uh, you know i'm a human here right i'm not a stockfish i'm not a lila i'm not a in <coughs> artificial intelligence sorry so i'm just uh, playing uh, very fast moves with my uh, intuition so bishop d6 uh, c4 knight a5 king g8 you know king f1 bringing the king into the game uh, king f6 as you can see every move here uh, the computer says oh what you're doing man what are you doing two grandmasters don't know how to play chess but now king e3 was played king e6 knight b7 i want to bring the knight to c5 knight g6 a very very interesting move by my opponent just bringing the knight to e5 to f4 yeah it's, it's a strong move that he played i took it rook d6 check and knight d5 and here just rook f6 i i'm going for the endgame because i didn't have so much time to think and now i i i missed it yeah f4 was just a better a move of course this position is just uh, over i think this end game is really a uh, total loss uh, for black but i played the move knight f6 and after knight f6 knight f4 it's not so easy uh, to handle this because i took it and i thought okay i played the move knight c5 i will take the pawn on a6 and just moving the pawn to promotion but knight f4 i take it and h5 and suddenly i thought oh what my what i'm doing h4 h3 h2 and i'm losing because for example king d2 h4 king e1 h3 king f1 h2 I cannot play the move king g2 and i'm losing the game so i found the knight c5 h4 and now 97 check 95 and knight to g4 um you know i did it i'm bringing the knight to h2 and you will not promoting a queen dear penguin so 93 was played b3 and uh, you know you know maybe knight h2 was a clever one because take king d4 and i will play king c3 and take this pawn but also, I'm not sure it's winning for white. I played the move b3, makes a lot of sense for me, at least. And now there is great, great move for black, knight to e5. Uh, with the point that I, of course, cannot take because h2. So I must play the move knight h2, and now c3. And this is not so easy to, to, to understand because my king cannot go anywhere, right? And king d6 is coming, king c5, king b4. So yeah, really, really tough position to handle because I don't have so much moves to play. But he took it. Uh, with two seconds on the clock i took it and now knight h2 f4 and this position is just winning for me f3 you know in this uh, style i'm just very very calm everything is fine just let me win this and be proud of my result because to win a penguin this is my first time uh, so yeah i just uh, developing my pawns uh, slowly slowly improving the position bringing another pawn another king e5 and now i play the move e6 and king e5 and king d6 and f6 and yeah it was of course winning absolutely position in time trouble here just checkmate in one e7 checkmate okay for me it's uh, maybe difficult for me to see checkmate in one play the move knight e4 uh, some troubles here of course goes back and forth e7 another time checkmate in one but uh, i didn't saw it but now i just promoting a queen and winning the game so ladies and gentlemen it was a very tough game against so strong player like the penguin grandmaster andrew tang and i must admit my until now my result against him is eight two for him so i managed to bring another very interesting and important point against this just fantastic player so if you like this video don't forget to smash that like button subscribe my channel for more chess content 
see you soon and bye bye